Um, hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, for the first video I decided to do, I was going to do a tour of my library. Um, probably not going to get into the comic books in this video, but we're going to go through history, philosophy, religion, economics, um, psychology, science, and some fiction books. So uh, let's continue. Alright, so starting off we have some survey of history books, Europe, uh, Middle East, Asia, um, lessons of history by Will Durant, this one, there's a bunch of lessons on, um, surveying history, that one was a good read. Um, let me get into it. ancient historical thought, um, ancient Greece with Plutarch, um, story of civilization, that's a good set of books that covers all of history. You want to get into that. Um, ancient Rome, one of my favorite subjects. Um, this is a good beginner's guide right here. Julius Caesar, one of the best biographies I've ever read by uh, Philip Freeman in short. Had everything I had to say. Um, some more thought over here. And then we go into more contemporary uh, medieval Renaissance, Enlightenment, um, late 1800s, European history, um, some history of Italy, Russia, England, this is a general book on medieval history, then we get into more events after we get out of the broader stuff, um, Charlemagne, Win the Conqueror, the Crusades, Genghis Khan, not really European, but it uh, fits, Magna Carta, and we get into more history of civilization, the Renaissance, the Enlightenment, Napoleonic Wars, Bismarck. Funny enough, this book didn't come with the spine, so I got my own label maker to make my own. Let me get into more World War history and Cold War, stuff like that. Uh, Rise and Fall of the Third Reich, uh, must read for anyone studying World War II. Night uh, by Ellie Wiesel and Anne Frank. More, you know, World War II events. Um, when we get to the Cold War, this is um, a really good guide on that. Um, then after that, we get into more American history, because you have to have that. Um, Common Sense, Rights of Man, uh, stuff by Thomas Paine, and more biography, going through history. We have all the presidents, Adams, Jefferson, Lincoln, FDR, um, we have a book on the 60s in America, Howard Zinn, you have to have him. Let me get into more um, social issues, um, gun rights, Communist Manifesto, more communism, Unabomber's Manifesto, Chomsky. Everyone should research a little bit of Chomsky. He is, uh, can really change your opinion on pretty much anything. Um, Imperialism and war, industrial, war complex. Then we get into more social media and free speech and how that affects us. Um, LGBT rights, right here. Um, African American issues with equality, feminism, a book on abortion that looked good. I am Alala. Um, more Middle East stuff, and a book on nuclear energy that I just found at a thrift store. Moving up, we get into one of my favorite sections, uh, philosophy, um, Confucius. Everyone always says, you know, Western philosophy the best. I honestly think Confucius is the way to go. Um, it's your Western philosophy of Bertrand Russell. Great resource. Um, anyone getting into philosophy should read this. Um, a more ancient philosophy, Heraclitus, Diogenes, Socrates, Plato, a whole bunch of Plato, Aristotle. This book, uh, I was trying to get a good book on Aristotle because who wants to read this massive tome? This one has everything you, read, you need to read in it, even really long books like the Metaphysics, which is like 400 pages long. Um, it's cut down to like 40 pages with the key sections in it. Highly recommend this. 
the new Ganyan. Epicurus, Epicureanism, great one. Seneca, On the Shortness of Life, and Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. Honestly, these two books, very short, but say a lot about um, Stoicism. And I even have a bust of the Emperor Marcus Aurelius right there. After we, after we get out of ancient philosophy, we go into more modern philosophy, starting out with um, uh, Machiavelli's The Prince, Hobbes, Descartes, I don't know something about Descartes. Locke. I think everyone in, philo in studying philosophy should read, or even American history as well, Second Treatise of Government really shaped the nation how we have it today. Um, I have more ethics, Kant and Mill, utilitarianism, and work on the metaphysics of morals. Honestly, if you're just trying to study ethics, most you're right there. Um, Walden in the back, it's kind of tucked in. Um, you know, Nietzsche, Gun Good and Evil. It's a great philosophy book. One of my favorites that no one ever talks about is um, The Antichrist. This is, I quote this all the time. Then we get into more uh, existentialism, Stranger, Love Sart. You should, people should really look him up. Um, Foucault, Relativism. This is an interesting book, I don't really agree with it, but antinatalism is a very interesting topic. Should we get out of philosophy? We go into religion. Book on Sikhism, which is a very interesting thing you never hear anyone talk about, even even though it's the fifth largest religion. So we're Astrianism, where Judaism and Catholicism get a lot of its information from. Buddhism, and then we have this set of uh, books on six religions. Let me get into more religion as a thing, and then books on atheism. Under your Christian Nation, that was one of the best books I've ever read. Highly recommend that. Um, God Delusion, God is not great. You know, centerpieces in any atheist collection. And um, books on uh, Church of Satan and Satanism. I'll probably get a, make a video on that. Nobody really knows. Everyone really has misconceptions about it, but we'll get into that in a later date. Then after that, we get into Christianity. Um, everyone should really understand that, Bible, uh, lost scripture books, um, this is a great guide to understanding the ideas of the Bible, like themes of God, you really see how the, the thoughts and ideas of that change over time, it's very interesting, very interesting. This is how I actually read the Bible, um, it breaks down every single story and, and book, very detailed pictures, all that stuff, like diagrams, maps, um, was a great resource, highly recommend that. Then more commentaries, um, book on the history of Christianity, um, let me get more theology, stuff like that, in the middle of reading, you're in trembling right now, your Christianity, it's a, it's a great one, some Spurgeon, Sermon of the Mount, this is a newer book on Christianity, but um, honestly, probably the best I've ever read. It really breaks down the Sermon on the Mount, which is my favorite story in the Bible, and um, highly recommend that one. And then books on heaven and the existence of God. I haven't really read those yet. After that, we get into books on economics and business, Wealth of Nations, that's a must read. I didn't really read all of it, I kind of read sections and read, found a really good condensed version that breaks everything down. Make sure I get the big ideas, because that's like a 400 page book, I've, I don't know. Friedman, Sowell, books on socialism and, uh, and the issues of capitalism. Um, get some more business thought, marketing stuff you learn in college, and then just history of, you know, capitalism in America, and then just business books, 
Um, haven't read all of these, but um, Robert Iger's book, Ride of a Lifetime, was amazing. One of the best books I've read this year. Gotta represent Lego. <laughs> um, moving along, have some Harvard classics. Um, That's pretty much it. I've nearly read these. They just look nice on the shelf. After that, we get into psychology and drugs. Um, this is a good book on mental illness. We have how it's affected. Illusion's Rainbow. This is a book on how evolution is in animals and how these ideas of um, transgenderism and um, LGBTQ issues and those diverse sexuality and everything like that is also in nature and we just don't really know that much about it. Uh, Freud, uh, sorry, psychology. Doors of Perception, I think everyone should read this. This book is funny at times, it's really enlightening. Um, it's bizarre though. Moving along at science. Um, books on physics. Um, this book, if you really just want a book on physics, um, this is the way to go. Um, astronomy, Carl Sagan, Cosmos, you have to, it's a must read. This is a book on the Fermi Paradox, where, like, you know, if aliens are out there and science of philosophy is that, which is very interesting. Short history of everything. Um, Science Matters, this is a good book on explaining everyday scientific thought uh, to achieve scientific literacy. That one um, was a good one. Moving along, we go to biology and a lot of marine biology because I just love that as a kid. Um, book on the history of that, uh, books on sharks, because, you know, everyone's a kid at heart. Um, Sign the World by Jacques Cousteau, this is a, a great one. One of my favorite books. Um, and then how uh, the evolution of the sea, all that stuff. Darwin, you have to have Darwin. Um, Undeniable, this book, not a lot of people talk about Bill Nye's books, but Undeniable is one of the most important books of my life. This is the book that made me become an atheist. Um, and I was in eighth grade and I read it and it completely changed my life and sent me on this journey of you know, reading books about religion and everything like that. Um, highly recommend this one. Then we get into more just general biology and life, dinosaurs, animals. This book made me cry. It's not really a biology book, but it talks about animals and stuff like that. And there is just some story. It's more like poetry inspired by animals, but I decided to put it in here. Then we just get into this section. I don't really know. It's like memoirs, biographies, stuff on art. H22, that was great. Glass Castle, Brave, Not Perfect, those are also great. Um, mortality, I, you can tell I'm a big fan of Christopher Hitchens, probably one of my favorite writers. Um, School of Athens, my I found they have these masterpieces of Western painting series, and School of Athens is probably my favorite piece of art ever. So I found this on eBay and just picked it up. Um, books on just history of art and painting. And that concludes all the non-fiction stuff, and then we get into fiction. Ep epics, um, mythology, stuff like that. Uh, Beowulf, stuff like that, just classics. Dante, Paradise Lost, Must Reads, Shakespeare. Don Juan, and we get into more um, British and Russian literature, Wild, I can't tell if it's Faulkner, um, One Piece, Tolstoy, Notes from the Underground, this book's freaking weird, um, that's all I have to say about that, um, <laughs> have more Russian, modern, more stuff, and we get into more just uh, contemporary, just random fiction it isn't really sorted, it's just put together. Um, Hemingway, Old Man in the Sea, that's a must read, and fairly short too. Um, 
pretty much I just group this together. You know, like high school classics that you all have to read. All great books. Uh, Movie Deck, one of my favorite fiction books. Really, um, has, has a lot to about that one. Twelve Angry Men, this is a great play, I think. Especially in today's age of racial inequality in court. Um, this one should be revisited. Jonathan Livingston Siegel, that was a good one. Great book on mental health and asylum. We get to more horror. Um, Frankenstein, Dracula, great books. Um, and then starts off a good section on war. Um, All Quiet on the Western Front. Um, has to be probably one of my favorite fiction books of all time. Um, just says a lot about human society and, and how we fight. Moving on, Music Carried, another good one. Um, Jurassic Park, you know, me, kid at heart. Um, and we get to more dystopian. Brad Dury, you'll see a lot more of him. One of my favorite sci-fi authors. Orwell, everyone has to have Orwell. Um, let me get to more modern books. Moving on, um, we have a brief section on romantic books. Giovanni's Room, uh, someone who can relate a lot to that book of being a, a bisexual man. It's a hard choice to make uh, between a woman and a man when you love both of them equally. That, that book broke me up a bit. That was a good one. Moving along, uh, we get into some poetry. This just has a lot of everything in it. Shakespeare, Emerson, Byron, Melville, Poe. Um, a lot of classics up here. This is going to get a little bit of nerdy for the last couple shelves, but we get into fantasy. Tolkien. If I'm going to be honest, I only read The Hobbit. I watched the rest of the movies. Um, Elric Saga, this is classic. Um, oh, Dragonlance. Dragonlance is good. I have no idea what this one's about, the Illuminatus trilogy. I just picked it up. I read a random page in the bookstore, and it was completely insane, so I decided to get it. And we get into young adult fantasy stuff. Uh, Harry Potter, Percy Jackson, and um, my Bionicle books. I don't know. I just like the story. Um, moving along... Into just traditional sci-fi. Um, Dune. Love Dune. One of my favorites. Um, it's definitely not for everyone. Um, you know, but it's great. Above the memes where it's us uh, Dune fans picking out the, the meaning of sand, but highly recommend. Moving along to just sci-fi. If I'm going to be honest, I haven't read all of this. Um, the Martian Chronicles. Also by Bradbury, as you can see, I'm a big fan. Um, this book blew me away. I cannot recommend this enough. Um, then we get to more just average sci-fi. This is a good book for Halo fans. And then the rest is just my comic books, which I'll do another video on. Thank you so much for watching and taking a tour of my library with me. Um, if you have any ideas for a future video on any of these topics or books I talked about, please let me know in the comments below. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't like or subscribe. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.